Kilo India 7, Whiskey Julia Papa. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio. Uh, please don't forget, if you enjoy this video, to give it a thumbs up. That helps with the YouTube algorithm and promotes this video. All right, so thank you, Radiodity, for sending me this Zygu X6100 for testing and use. And oh boy, has it been fun so far. Yet I haven't had it out in the backpack in the field or in the field. I still am having some great times with it. So jumping right into it, I'm jumping into this test where I transmit out from my home location into a remote web SDR. Kilo India 7, Whiskey Julia Papa. 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 So that first test was a lot of fun, and I could hear myself actually proving Envis works really well for my home. But that second one was the FT891. Mind you, the audio gain might have been a little low. The second one was actually just I caught a POTA station late at night, and I really wanted to get in there. So here we go. It is Japan, Papa. Japan, Papa. QSL. Roger, Roger, you are a 5 and 8, 5 and 8, 58 into Utah. Roger, that I copied 5 8. I have your full story in the Kilo Dash 25. Okay, copy the, the 4 and 8. Copy 4 and 8. Thank you very much and good luck tonight. All right, the audio report I gave her, uh, that operator might have been better as a 4 8, but anyway. Moving forward, I'll remember that. Let's talk about this firmware update. The firmware update was actually pretty straightforward once I figured out the, uh, the method, and I probably will do another video just on doing the firmware update on this because I do think it can be a lot more straightforward than is presented in the instructions. Uh, one key factor is have the unit plugged into a power source when you're doing the update on the unit, when you move that SD card reader from your computer over to the unit. Just heads up on that, and it'll save you some trouble. But anyway, we'll look forward to doing another video for you on that. Next, I just want to kind of talk a little bit about the radio itself. I think the radio is a fantastic unit. The build feels nice and solid in the hand. And uh, you might hear a little rattle, but that's just the little legs that allow it to prop up on, say, a, a bench or a desk. And I think that that's okay. But the radio itself feels so solid. It feels very good. Um, I will note that some of the buttons might be a little bit crowded, but you can get used to that. And the one button that I felt was the most crowded was actually the lock button over there by your frequency dial. That is a little bit close to the dial, so I found that I have to use my left hand uh, rather than my, my dial hand to lock the um, unit out so that I'm not messing with the frequency if I move the radio around. But not a big deal. Um, I still have yet to really get into the nitty gritty with it, but overall, I get great signal reports. Um, the low power, the QRP power level of this is great. I get really, really, um, really excited about the idea that I can carry this around in my pack. It takes up so much less space. It doesn't have a cooling fan. It, it's a little bit less permeable than my 891. Not to mention it has a built-in battery and a built-in tuner and a built-in SWR meter. It's got all these cool features that make it so great for being portable. And the tuner is a 5 to 1 tuner. So if you've got an end-fed random wire, and if it's got the proper length wire, you should be able to tune that for most frequencies you'll be using with this thing. What a great little portable radio. At any rate, I'm going to let this play out. The audio you're about that you're hearing in the background is actually an incoming signal. Signal, an operator from Slovenia who is working DX in the United States. Okay, are you happy? Sugar fifty-two, whiskey, whiskey.
All right. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to talk a little bit more on these subject points uh, down the road. Portable operation, digital, uh, the firmware updates, the build quality, onboard battery, and SWR sweep, and a couple other things. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please consider supporting this channel by giving a thumbs, by giving the video a thumbs up, uh, subscribing, and if you'd like, you're more than welcome to buy me a cup of coffee. And all these links are down below. And I'll post some links down below of some other information on this radio. See you on the next one. Happy trails.